Quill is here to tell you all about voltage dividers. Now what's a voltage divider? Why this is a voltage divider. And what does it do? Well it takes a signal and it attenuates it. In other words, it shrinks the signal. So if your input looked like this, your output might look like this. Now, what do we want to learn? Well, what we'd like to learn is what the transfer function is. What's a transfer function? I know, right? Well, a transfer function is any function typically described as your output over your input. So let's look at that. If we have an output over an input, and that's a function of something, um, and we feed an input, meaning that we multiply this whole thing by some input signal, we're going to get an output. This is, this is going to allow us to cancel out the input terms, and we're left with just an output term. So, how do we get that for this circuit? Well, we have to analyze two nodes. Two nodes. Not three, not one, two. This one, and this one. How do we analyze them? Well, we use Ohm's law. That is, voltage equals current times resistance. So, let's start with this node, right here, this one. Now, there's a couple different ways to describe it, and by describe it, I mean mathematically describe how it relates to ground. This right here. So there's a path to ground, and it's through the, uh, the voltage source. So we could say V in. That's one way to describe it, is just calling it V in. That doesn't really do us a lot of good. So we have to describe it another way. So we could, we could describe it, we could say it's equal to our current times the resistance of our circuit because it follows this path to ground. Here we are at ground. So that would be our current times the series sum of resistor 2 and resistor 1. So R2 plus R1. Okay. That's nice. I don't see an output yet. Well, that's because we haven't gotten there. We need to analyze this node. This one right here, which also happens to be the positive terminal of V out. So since V out is the voltage between this node and ground, we can again just describe it as V out. How else can we describe it? Well, we can again describe it as a current times a resistance. Only this time the current's flowing from this node to ground through R1. So, it becomes V out equals I times R1. Now this becomes simple because we have a we have an equation for our output, and we have an equation for our input. So we can very, very simply say V out over V in is equal to, well, the equation for our input, I, R2, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Maybe IR1, of course, over our input. So then that, that part is R2 plus R1. So there's one other thing we can do. So this, this, this is a valid transfer function right here. But we can take it one step further. We can make it simpler because we have an a current over a current, those will cancel out. I over I is equal to 1. So those cancel out and we're left with R1 over R2 plus R1. And that is a transfer function for a voltage divider. So anytime you see a circuit that looks like this, or in fact two resistors tapped with a with a center tap in this fashion, 
you can bet that's the transfer function. Now, again, since we know this is a transfer function, we can rearrange this problem and just say v out equals the transfer function times vn. And you'll notice that I just multiply both sides by vn. So it's another little tidbit there. Now, why is this useful? Well, typically, typically when you have something like a volume control, on like your amplifier or your cassette deck or your 8-track player. It's just a potentiometer which is which is something that looks like um, it's a component that looks like this electrically speaking. This is actually the symbol for a potentiometer. So if we if we made this end ground and this end VN and this end V out. You can start to see, well, we're splitting this resistor in two with this uh, with this little wiper here symbolized by an arrow. And this portion right here, the ground side of that resistor, is R1 in our circuit up here. And this top portion right here, that's R2. And that, boys and girls, is a voltage divider.